ever wondered why kangaroos seem to always be moving forward? Well, it's because they can't walk backwards. Yes, you heard it right. These incredible animals are always on the move, always looking ahead. Why, you ask? It's all thanks to their large, powerful feet. These feet designed for hopping at high speeds aren't built to shuffle backwards. So while it might seem a little peculiar to us, it's completely normal for our kangaroo friends. But don't worry, kangaroos are happy hoppers and they love leaping forward. So what exactly does a kangaroo do all day? Well, let's start our journey with the crack of dawn. As the first rays of the sun peek over the horizon, our kangaroo friend wakes up from a peaceful slumber. It's time to start the day with a good stretch and a few hearty hops to shake off the sleep. After waking up, it's breakfast time. Kangaroos love to munch on grasses, leaves, and even flowers. But their absolute favorite meal? Fresh, juicy shoots of green grass. They spend a good part of their morning grazing, filling their bellies for the active day ahead. Once they've had their fill, it's time to socialize. Kangaroos are pretty sociable creatures. They live in groups called mobs or troops, and these aren't just random gatherings. These groups often consist of close family members. They spend their time together, hopping around, grooming each other, and even playfully boxing. Now, let's talk about the most adorable part of a kangaroo's day, taking care of their joeys. You see, kangaroo moms or does have a special pouch where they carry their babies, known as joeys. The joeys stay in their mom's pouch for about 10 months until they are ready to explore the world on their own. During this time, the doe takes care of the joey, feeding and protecting it from predators. As the day starts to wind down, kangaroos take it easy. They might find a nice shady spot to rest and digest all that tasty grass they've eaten. They also keep an eye out for any potential danger. With their strong hind legs and long muscular tail, they're ready to make a quick escape if needed. But don't worry, kangaroos aren't all work and no play. They love to have fun too. Whether it's a friendly boxing match or a high-speed hopping race, kangaroos know how to keep things lively. And as the sun sets, our kangaroo friend hops back home for a good night's sleep. After all, it's been a busy day and there's another exciting day ahead in the life of a kangaroo. And have you ever seen a kangaroo's pouch? It's like a built-in baby carrier. Imagine having a cozy little pocket where you can safely carry around your baby, or in kangaroo terms, a joey. That's exactly what a mother kangaroo or doe has. It's not just a pouch, but a super pouch. Now you might be wondering, what makes this pouch so super? Well, it's a fascinating piece of nature's design. The pouch is a warm, comfortable space where a tiny joey, smaller than a cherry when it first arrives in the world, can grow and develop. This pouch is like a second womb, providing everything the joey needs to thrive. But it's not just about providing a safe space. The pouch also acts like a pantry. Inside, there are four teats, each producing milk of different compositions. As the joey grows, it moves from teat to teat, drinking milk that changes to meet its evolving nutritional needs. How cool is that? And there's more. The pouch is designed to keep the joey secure. Even when a mother kangaroo is hopping around at high speeds, the little joey stays snug and safe inside. The pouch's powerful muscles contract to prevent the joey from falling out. It's like a built-in seatbelt. The joey stays in the pouch for about six to eight months, but even after it starts to venture out, it returns to the pouch for meals and safety until it's around 10 months old. So it's not just a baby carrier, but also a home away from home. And what happens when it's time for a new joey? Well. The doe cleans out her pouch, getting it ready for the next little one. Just like we tidy up our rooms for a new sibling, the kangaroo's pouch is truly a marvel of nature. It's a perfect example of how animals are adapted to survive and thrive in their environments. So, next time you see a kangaroo, remember there might be a little joey tucked inside her pouch. And not just tucked away, but growing, learning, and preparing for the big wide world, all inside a super pouch. Did you know kangaroos can jump really high and far? Well, it's true. Kangaroos are famous for their amazing leaping abilities. They're like the superheroes of the animal world, leaping tall buildings in a single bound, 
Okay, maybe not buildings, but they can jump over obstacles that would leave most of us scratching our heads and looking for a ladder. So how do they do it? It's all thanks to their strong legs and long feet. You know how runners use their legs and feet to push off the ground and run faster? It's the same with kangaroos, but on a much grander scale. Imagine being able to jump the length of a school bus in one leap. That's right, a kangaroo can leap up to 9 meters in one bound. And that's not all. They can reach heights of over 3 meters. That's taller than a one-story building. It's like they have built-in trampolines in their legs. Their jumping isn't just for fun, though. It's a crucial part of how they get around. Kangaroos live in the vast landscapes of Australia, where there's a lot of open space to cover. Leaping is a fast and efficient way for them to travel great distances. It's also a handy escape technique when predators are near. A kangaroo can quickly bound away, leaving a confused predator in its dust. But it's not just about power. Kangaroos are also really good at controlling their jumps. They can change direction mid-leap, and even adjust the distance they cover with each jump. That's some serious skill. And here's a fun fact. Kangaroos can't jump without their tail. Their tail acts like a fifth leg, providing balance and support when they're on the move. So, while their strong legs and long feet play a big role, their tail is the unsung hero of their leaping prowess. So, if you ever have a jumping contest with a kangaroo, you might have a tough time winning. But don't worry, we can still admire their fantastic jumping skills and learn from their incredible adaptations. Kangaroos aren't just great leapers, they're also great boxers! Yes, you heard it right. These bouncy buddies of ours are not just champions in leaping, but are also quite the athletes when it comes to boxing. Now you might be thinking, boxing? Really? That sounds a bit too human for an animal. But let me assure you, this is 100% kangaroo behavior, and it's as natural as their iconic hops. Often you'll find male kangaroos engaging in this boxing display. It's a way for them to settle disagreements, kind of like their own version of a friendly debate. But instead of using words, they use their strong arms to communicate their points. Now, these boxing bouts aren't as fierce as the ones we humans have. Kangaroos are not about hurting each other. They are gentle animals, and their boxing is more about showing strength and prowess than causing harm. It's all about who can stand tall and show they're the strongest. Imagine two kangaroos standing upright, balancing on their tails and using their arms to jab and push at each other. It's a sight to behold. But remember, while it may look like a fun game, this is a serious conversation in kangaroo language. What's even more fascinating is how their boxing skills have evolved over time. Their arms, while not as strong as their powerful hind legs, are sturdy and can deliver quite a punch. It's a testament to their adaptability and survival instincts. But here's an important point to remember, kiddos. We humans should never try to box with kangaroos or mimic their behavior. We must respect their space and observe them from a distance. After all, we wouldn't want someone intruding on our personal conversations, would we? So there you have it. Another exciting fact about our hoppy friends. They're not just great at leaping around the outback, they're also pretty good boxers. But remember, it's all part of their natural behavior. Remember, kangaroos are gentle animals. They only box when they need to settle a disagreement. Wow, we've learned so much about kangaroos today. Let's take a moment to hop back and revisit what we've discovered about these fascinating creatures. First, remember that kangaroos have a quirky trait. They can't walk backwards. It's all forward motion for these animals, in life and in movement. They're always about the next leap ahead, just like us when we're eager to learn something new. Next, we peeked into a day in the life of a kangaroo. Sunrise to sunset, their days are filled with grazing, resting, and of course, lots of hopping around. They're quite the busybodies. And who could forget the super pouch? A kangaroo mom's pouch is a cozy, safe spot for her little joey. It's like a built-in baby carrier, but way cooler. We also talked about their great leaps. Kangaroos can jump around 6 feet high and 25 feet forward in a single leap. That's about as long as a school bus. Talk about a giant hop. Finally, we learned about their boxing skills. 
Kangaroos are natural boxers using their strong arms to spar with each other. It's not about fighting, but more about play and communication. Thanks for joining us on this kangaroo adventure. Remember, every animal has its own unique and exciting story. Stay curious and keep exploring.